<laughs> Anyways, let's talk about um, Dick's Jockey, DJ Copy. What's reacted to insinuations of how the billionaire status of our father makes her free from the consequences of breaking the law? This is coming following the UK's decision that placed Nigeria on a coronavirus red list amidst the um, uprising of the virus variant Omicron. In reaction, the Jacobi took to Twitter to lament over the safety protocols which will get in the way of our plans to visit Nigeria in December. Well, I think um, Nigeria should be on the red list of every country because this is the only place where I don't see a lot of people taking this whole COVID thing so seriously. So even the normal events that they tell you that when you wear your mask, mask when you're there, at the time people get in there, you know, if you breathe again, you go off farm. Um, do you understand? Fast, and everybody's yeah. still breathing the same air. And then it's like everything has really opened yeah. up fully. Restaurants are sometimes choked up. And you're wondering. Hmm. Like, okay. so that's the one that pisses me off. <laughs> there was this day I walked out yeah. of a restaurant because I saw a man you know, just coughing, didn't even use his elbow, yeah. he didn't use that, uh, it was right in line and I was like, hey, I'm going to chop the same food. Hmm. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. And nobody was telling, he said they were telling him sorry, they did not say, hey, your guy come up for here, you know that yeah. kind of thing, yeah. He said they say sorry, sorry, like, is are, are you joking? It happens a lot. <laughs> like, I think Nigerians don't even like, some many Nigerians don't even believe that COVID exists, that is even real. Mm. Because the way we act, like what you said, so now I'm going on the road and then I see like buses, the public buses, mm -hmm. and I see people squeeze like sardine and nobody is wearing a mask. Nobody. Everybody's there squeeze. And you can imagine the kind of sweat that they're exchanging mm -hmm. and coughing and I'm like, no. You know the one that used to baffle me? No. When I see those public transport and I see no. the person actually putting his head on the on the, on the the ah. chair. I'm like, do you know who sat there like a few minutes hey. ago? Oh, and then no, you're no, sleeping no, no, in the no, bus no. or you're reading your head on the it's window and nah. things like that. I agree that I, I actually support the UK for putting us on the red list. Like, they need to protect, protect their own citizens. Like, it's yeah. not their business whether we want to come there or not. Because, I mean, Omicron is now in Nigeria. Apart from that, we do not take any safe precautions Ima <laughs> imagine now that people are actually getting fake vaccination um what's it called receipts like proper like fake i have a friend that was saying her organization i won't call the organization was saying that everyone has to get a vaccine and she said she didn't want to get it so she actually faked like you know the whatever the receipt that she showed the organization and that was it and they were like okay you're good they didn't know that she didn't get it i'm like why do you have to I think fake every it? Every organization should even be the one in charge of in making it. In charge, sure like to you're... get people yeah. to do these things. Like, like you shouldn't just be waiting on you know your no staff to sense. go get the. There's no proper rules and regulation. There's no proper um, framework to even like make these mm. rules and regulations to be followed. Like I don't even know the restaurants one <laughs> is ridiculous because there's I've not there's no restaurant now as I'm speaking. I've gone to that said and eh, you must wear a mask. To mm. be very honest, they, they don't Everybody they don't th push I think it. Nigeria people are thinking about your. Yeah, they don't money push before yeah, they think about before their the life. Health. Yeah, because nah. at the end of the day, the first thing they would think is like, if we keep chasing everybody that's not wearing cool, mask, who will buy? Yeah. Do you hear what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, that's their mentality. But in the real sense, they say yeah. health is wealth, exactly, right? So yeah. at the end of the day, you have to think about your mm. health first. I remember when my mom saw an event that I did way yeah. back in 2018 or 2019 there about. Yeah. And she was like, why were you talking so close to those people? I said, mom, my hair is not even that color anymore. Yeah. <laughs> like, how did you mean? She said, oh, okay. Do you understand? Like, yeah. that was how we were able to mm -hmm. just try. But I know how my parents too, you know, Extra, I can remember how yeah. my dad almost beat me up over the phone wow. one day because I said I was down with a flu. Uh, no, no, not because I was down with a flu. That was before I got my second job, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, so before I got it, it was calling me that um, they said you missed your second job. Why did you miss it? Uh -huh. You have to play with your life. Oh, you had, I'm like, ah. He has to talk, because things are going crazy. Like, people don't even understand how people are dying from this COVID. I think it's because the, N the NCDC, they've stopped giving us updates. Because, you know, before they were very extra today, 2000 and this one confirmed. This one. But now I'm not more seeing any. I don't know why I'm not seeing it anymore. And it's not giving serious. updates in other countries. I don't know why. Why have we stopped in Nigeria? Oh, in like, Niger, everything is Niger. just And then they, they want to keep praising the government and praising the yeah. this people. But even look at that, I didn't even think about it that way. The CDC doesn't give us any of this. Give us updates. Like, when we used to say, I'm sure now you have to go to their websites. 
But that period, there was no... On their social media, there was so... Even like Twitter, they were media, putting it up hard, every day. I think they did paid adverts on YouTube. They were very extra. They were pushing like, they it. They were very, very... There was yeah. absolutely nothing you would want to binge on YouTube that something yeah. that would not pop up mm -hmm. and tell you about coronavirus. Yeah, that's true. But, but now they're now just laid knows. back and now there's a new variant that's even more deadly. Why? Like This is this is even the period that we should actually be more serious about COVID and are actually trying to protect ourselves. But now... Nobody is doing anything. Everybody is still not wearing masks. Even organizations are to blame too. Because you be in an organization, the staff are they're not wearing masks. Why? Mm. Why are we like we are mixing up with people that are coming out? Like you don't know where, anybody, where anyone is coming from. They are entering public buses. They are coming to work. Everybody should be wearing a mask in public space. You should always wear a mask. But no, we don't see that because a friend of mine was telling Nigeria me about has no how, laws. how she was down with the flu, yeah. mm -hmm. and then I come and said that it's just cold. You can come to the office, and she was like, "Are you joking?" Like she was trying to protect That's them. The, that's the that she was trying to protect yeah. them that she wanted to stay away because she wasn't sure and she had not even gotten any vaccine so she said it was so bad and all of that yeah. so she wanted to just stay yeah. at home and they insisted that she shows up at work that can you just imagine cold. and, and in my head, i'm like it makes real, no sense it doesn't really make nah, any sense nah, uh -uh. anyways anyways stay safe the coronavirus is not a hoax it's definitely real and it's killing people and yes we just hope um you know that is never a portion so stay protected and love yourself Anyway, Stephanie Coca advises women dating a married man. She encouraged itched men to quit. The mother of one expressed that while um, expressed this while exhorting a lady who is of now dating a wedded man and needed to know whether it's okay to remain faithful to him. There's something out there for you that belongs to you. That man is disloyal. You owe him nothing. Um, Stephanie said in response. Married boyfriend is an oxymoron. A mother's prayer is for a daughter to go to her husband's house, not another woman's husband's house. That's what you're about to see. Do you know what it means? Of course not. The bone of another person, please don't let us cry it. Okay. That's deep. <laughs> yeah, because you know they, they call the woman your reed, yeah, and yeah, and the flesh. flesh yeah. And all that. So yeah. You, that's Jesus now. The bone of your bone and the flesh of your flesh is your husband is now. Yeah. Hey. She's not Jesus. If the flesh of your flesh the and the bone, bone of, of my blood, blood and the, no, the that's Jesus. Ah uh ah. -uh. Blood of my blood and the the bone of your bone and the flesh of your flesh is your husband. Are you sure? Yes, so you become one. But we're so becomes. But we're the body of Christ. Jesus. Ah, <laughs> if fair. Uh, and we drank his blood. Of course, yes. <laughs> of course. Anyways, um, <laughs> I think um, it's very very funny when women don't find anything wrong mm -hmm. with marry people. So I remember there's this lady that I introduced to a friend that is actually yeah, married. married and I said ah, that my friend really likes you though but hmm. is married uh, I hope you shall cool and in my head I'm like so casually <laughs> like cool. yeah know. like so casually like you don't have a problem with yeah. the fact that he's married you just want to know if he's a cool person to mm. hang with and all of that and i'm like yeah 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 of course of course I'm, i won't be a snitch i'm not in support of, of it of but not, of course yeah. if i need to introduce two people together because they might watch i want to do business and all oh, of whatever, that yeah. but me i knew what it was and i thought she was actually going to decline like ah no 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 because she's been going on and on and on about how she wants a you know very solid and good relationship that is actually yeah. committed and suddenly you want a married man so I feel like women sometimes are the cause for their late marriages or being single because I can imagine knowing a woman that was dating a married yeah. man mm -hmm. and I want to get married. Even though I like you a lot, you will definitely Question. not be yeah. on my list because oh I'm already God. looking at you shady. Red like God. you that yeah. you are dating somebody that is dishonest, that, that is disloyal. It makes you the same person. Yeah, of course. And then some of these girls, they, they now be like, a married man would break up with them and then they are crying. For somebody that went back home. Someone that went to his wife and that his went children back home. to his he house. He came back to his senses and then you are crying. See, it's just ridiculous. But, but see, married men too, I don't know what they actually want. I mm. know men are insatiable. I know we all, yeah. you know, at one point or the other, we all want... Yeah. It. We're human, right? Of course. We have, we have blood running through us and mm. all of that. So there's no way you would not see a woman that is prettier than your wife. There's no way you would not see a man uh -uh. that is more handsome than your man. Like, Do you understand? Yeah. So it, it just depends on your decision. I feel mm. like marriage is something that the moment you decide... Mm. That's that's it. The day yeah. I get married, I don't think I would, you know, want to still step out line. 
But at the end of the day, you never know. Never you say never. never. Know. never My say own never. question is, I don't get why, actually, I get why women want to go for married men because obviously these people are more stable. Mm. They are more mature in mm. quotes. I mean, like, you want to be with someone, they have more to you understand, they have more to lose. And also, a married man is more comfortable, like, in financially, he has the money. So, like, women want to be with this kind of person. But it, ethically speaking, it's, it's not right. Like, you see, there are a lot of young men around. Why are you looking for someone that is in a com committed relationship? And then it's funny how those women, you see them the praying. Young men have money and Oh, I'm just god. joking. I'm oh just my messing around. God. I'm messing around. Said. I'm just messing around. And then those young men that actually find married men, you see them praying. Their prayer point is that Lord, please, when I get married, I want my husband to be faithful. I want my marriage to last long. I want. And I'm like, but you're destroyed another person's marriage. Don't you think karma is like it actually happens? I don't think mm, people understand that karma true. happens. It's true. What you do to another person, it will surely come, come back, back and it will find you and it will hunt you. So I think women should do better. Nigerian women particularly. Like, I don't know why they always go for married men. And married men, too, should do better. They should not be going out of their marriage looking for small, small girls to follow. Like, that is so disrespectful to yourself and to your marriage All and right. to your so wife. All right, so a quick one, too. You know, yeah. um, the w moment women get into... Even now, I'm not even talking about marriage. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have a, a, a lady who is always coming around, there, yeah. there are times that it gets so comfortable... Mm -hmm right yeah. like you get too comfortable and you stop doing the things that the man you know yeah. actually mm -hmm. saw in you so i think you should you know keep it up yeah. keep up whatever You're it was doing. you would do it mm -hmm. don't say oh because i now have this yeah. man in my corner i need yeah. i can stop i can relax mm -hmm. and all of that because i feel like that's the problem with a lot of nigerian yeah. women you see a former slave mama and mm -hmm. then by the time you see her when she's married, married three years later she'll be tying her apart she'll dirty. stop fixing her hair yeah. she stop. you know mm -hmm. what i mean like yeah. keep it up that's why I always applaud, you know, married women that I still look looking fly with their mm. smile on and all of that. And you can actually tell that that's yeah. how they are. Yeah. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? So I think women too have a large yeah, role a large to play role because a lot of women just let go of their yeah. body, especially mm. after the first child. Exactly. You know, you just yeah, let go. Like, I'm tired. Mm -hmm. I know it's not easy, yeah. but it's a grind you have to face. You feel me? Of it course. is definitely a grind you have of to course. face. Still speaking of marriages, yeah. Okay. Why, why do you have married? And I think I you're getting married before huh? the end Maybe of the year. You. In December. You. You're you. the one. Who? Me. You. Me. I can marry this year again. Go possible. Next six or seven years, I beg. Six or, or seven, seven years. Is that, is that your target? What? Yeah. Or even, six or seven? Or even ten, so depends. <sighs> But yeah. are you, do you think you should be dating the same guy by then? Yeah, I hope so. You hope so? I hope. Okay, let's, let's, <laughs> let's, let's keep our fingers crossed and we wish you the best of luck. Anyways, being married to a famed lawyer, Judge Clooney, apparently turns to his wife for advice before taking a job. The actor has revealed that he turned down a $35 million offer to film a commercial after he consulted with his wife, Amal. The actor, which is George Clooney, filmmaker, revealed the job offer when, to um, when talking with The Guardian about his upcoming directorial feature, The Tender Bar, and was asked whether he's satisfied with the money he's earned. Jo George went on to explain why he turned down the job. He said, it was associated with a country that, although it's an ally, is questionable at times. And so I thought, well, if it takes a minute of sleep away from me, it's not worth it. See, mm. I can totally relate to this. They say it's not yeah. all money you take. Yeah. Do you understand? If the money would bring you some yeah. type of pain, some type of displeasure, mm -hmm. some type of, I don't think it's worth it, but it's because of the um, situation of the country. Yeah. And of course, if you think about it, everybody just wants to make, you know, quick cash. Quick cash yeah. But I also want to talk, bring, you know, the marriage, um, what's it called now, institution mm -hmm. into this. A lot of men don't even consult with their wives, right? Oh, Especially when they yeah. want to make decisions that would affect the both the of them. Family, yeah. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Or the family, or even if it's just you say that it will affect it. somebody that loves oh, you will be disturbed. Yes. Do you get what yeah. I mean? So I love, I love the fact that this guy is 60-something, you know, he's mm. still talking about how his wife was doing after he had a conversation. Yeah. A lot of men do not even ask their wives for yeah. anything, okay. you know, they don't, they, they, don't, they don't consult with their yeah. wife. And these are things that they used to do as, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend, do you think I should, 
<coughs> no, I'm the kind of person that I talk to my girlfriend a lot. Like, there's also, sometimes she even tells me, like, dude, like, you can do it. Yeah. Do you get, and sometimes I be like that with her too. Like, you, can't you do anything yeah. without me? Do you get what I mean? Because at the end of the day, we consult each other. <coughs> oh. Excuse me. Yeah. Each other and all of that. So, I think.